This is the final word daily. Australia, West Indies at Perth, aka the Kingdom of Frome, the stadium that is impossible to escape <laughs> from after hours. Jeff Lemon and Barrett Cinderason, because uh, Adam Collins has fallen over and sprained his voice <laughs> and uh, is, is being filled in for on the show today. And here is a challenge because if anybody's going to struggle to tell you about 90 <laughs> overs in six, 30 seconds, it's Barrett Cinderason. But that's your job. Good luck. For 11 long years, Craig Brathwaite has rallied around the West Indies. But today, it's an opportunity for the West Indies to rally around Craig Brathwaite oh. because he's given them a chance to be very, very proud of this test team. Another day remains, three sessions, can the West Indies bat out? That'll be the story for tomorrow, but today, take a bow, Craig Brathwaite. <laughs> okay, that tells me nothing about what actually happened today, <laughs> but thank you. Um, I would have said something like, uh, Australia resumed one down, David Warner got out for 48, oh. but Manus Labuschagne went on to a century, that made it twin tons in the match. Steve Smith still with him at lunch on 20, not out, they declared at 182 for two, uh, a lead of, I can't remember, heaps. Uh, and then uh, the West Indies were three for 192 by Stumps, Brathwaite 101, not out. Something well, like that. Yeah. That's, that's, you know, but we have different, that's We okay. have different ways. Different yeah. strokes. Different uh, strokes. Different, different strokes. It is, it is very important to apply different strokes depending on the folk who you're stroking. That's how I understand that phrase to work. Um, but nonetheless, it was, it was like, there were two hundreds in the day and they felt like different kinds of oh, hundreds. Yeah. You know, one was, one was a fill your boots declaration ton. Uh, and, and one was, I mean, it was proper resistance against some quality bowling. Oh, absolutely. And uh, Manas Labushin just did a press conference where he acknowledged that he is lucky. He knows the rub of the green is going his way. And apparently uh, some of his fellow batters have been making fun of him. They said that maybe, um, you know, it's the, uh, the, the quote from the Bible that he uh -huh. has under his bat. Maybe he should just scribble it on Josh Hazelwood's uh, yep. shoe. Because there was a point, and we will talk about it, where Josh Hazelwood bowled a ball that hit the top of the, the off bail uh, mm -hmm. of Craig Brathwaite uh, and it didn't dislodge it. So Craig Brathwaite was still in there. But yeah, yep. it was all about resistance. It was um, incredible batsmanship as well. I think uh, he went through the gears beautifully, Craig Brathwaite, soaked in the new ball, mm -hmm. came out looking a lot more mm -hmm. positive after the tea break and he's given the West Indies an outside chance of saving this game. My brain has spat out the number. I think it was 498 was the target that Australia Yes, set. that's right. Which means that at this stage, maybe we'll, we'll go to the end of the day first. Hmm. West Indies 192 for three. They need 303 more runs to win. I think it's one of these situations where if they were to somehow bat out the fifth day, it, it would be kind of hard to do it without scoring the runs. Like if you're out there for that long, like maybe you should just, like you only need three and over. The pitch mm. is still playing nicely. Maybe, and like the closer you get, the more nervous you make the other team as well. I mean, it could all end in about half an hour tomorrow yeah, morning. Could, Kyle yeah. Mayers has, has just come out to bat. Mm. Uh, he's got a sore shoulder. The all-rounders to come after that, Holder and Chase. It's not a lot of batting to come, and by rights, Australia should wrap it up For sure. comfortably tomorrow. But they also might be a bowler down because Pat Cummins didn't bowl today. He might be fit to bowl tomorrow, but he had a slightly sore quad. And so mm. they just wanted to be very conservative, given he's a bowling captain and, and they've got the whole summer ahead of them. They said, well, don't make him bowl today. See how he pulls up in the morning. Yeah. They've got Cameron Green in there for that kind of insurance policy. Nathan Lyon bowled nicely and used the bounce. Stark and Hazelwood did a job. But it just hasn't been easy for bowlers the whole time through this test match. No, and it's interesting because there has been enough in this pitch, even today when Josh Hazelwood bowled. He could have easily taken three or four wickets, but it's just been maybe good batting from both sides, uh, at least in terms of showing the technique to survive. Uh, but they have survived. Maybe it's a bit of luck, like Manas Labuschagne experience. Sure. But the bowlers just haven't got the rub of the green their way from both sides. Let's, let's talk about that, about hmm. that Labuschagne thing. So, you know, it's it's the start of the day. Yes. And there's there's an early spell of hostile fast bowling. Yes, like, like proper stuff. Yeah. And I mean, talk, talk us through it. No, it was one over where Alzari Joseph bowls him a bouncer. And today, Alzari Joseph was bowling like what we expected Alzari Joseph to yeah. bowl like in the high 140s. It was like 15 k's faster than he was in the first innings. Absolutely. And so yeah. he bowls one short ball at 148 kph. It hits Manas's glove, hits him flush on the helmet. He's caught at gully. He thinks he's out, he's rattled and then they retrospectively signal no ball. So he's got a reprieve. By like a millimeter, oh, yeah. like the proverbial so just, insect appendage. Just missed yep. uh, the mark. So Alzari Joseph just stood there. Manas gets a concussion test done. And as he told us now, he was quite rattled. So he was quite feeling a little dizzy and he was um, obviously shaken up by that. 
then Alzari Joseph obviously is charged up and angry as well. So he marches back, runs in, bowls him another bouncer. And then, but this time Manas is so shaken up by it, he's expecting every ball to be a bouncer. Then he bowls him a length delivery where you can see Manas kind of ducking, even though because he's expecting yeah, yeah, a yeah. short ball, he yeah. ducks a length ball. But luckily, it was slightly outside off start. Uh -huh. So he survives. Another yeah. bouncer and he goes through that period. I mean, I think that's where the whole Manas Labushain luck narrative also yeah. needs the, the rider that he makes the most of his luck. He's he, good enough to make the most of it once it happens. And that's leaving out the bouncer before he got hit, which he sort of tried to play oh, a yes. hook shot at and, and top edge for six. Six, that was you the know. previous ball. Yeah. yeah, I mean, a completely uncontrolled shot. So he had his luck against those early bits of good bowling. Warner looked a little more comfortable against mm. Ozari Joseph, uh, although, you know, I mean, Warner's, Warner doesn't love facing really fast short yeah. bowling anymore, but he can do it and he's still capable of doing of it. Of course. So, and then they're able to push on, and basically within a couple of overs, I mean, Joseph then has a, a loose over where he bowls some down the leg side, clipped away for boundaries, goes for about a dozen off the over. And then he's unhappy, and then he, eventually he, he comes out of the attack and nobody else is really able to follow up. Mm. And the injuries start having an effect. Kemar Roach comes off the field after bowling three overs. He's got a, a leg problem Posterior of some sort. thigh. I've never heard of that Posterior. Before. Posterior, Posterior thigh. Posterior thigh. That's, that's, that sounds like a <laughs> fancy way of saying butt. <laughs> butt. Yeah, he's got a, a butt problem. Yeah, he's I'm a, scratching my posterior thigh. Yeah, like we spoke about Steve Waugh's buttock strain the other day that cost him a test match in the 2000-2001 series. Uh, you can do it, put your ass into it, and, and that is what Kemar Roach is going to have to do. Um, Kyle Mayers couldn't bowl already, he didn't bowl in the innings because his shoulder mm. was giving him grief. Jason Holder came off the field to get treatment for a while. I mean, he walks like, very <laughs> stiff-legged at the best of times. He looks like he's just got off a, a long horse ride. Yeah. But um, he came off for treatment, they were bowling the spinners, and there was just that feeling of like, just waiting for the Australians to declare, you know, mm. whatever. They're just going to bat till lunch and, and hopefully that then they'll, they'll leave us alone. Maybe they'll bat for a while. In a way, the West Indies sort of wanted Australia to bat on longer. Yeah, of course. Because why not? The more time they bat, the more time they t take away from West Indies having to bat. But the declaration comes at lunch, the roller gets out mm. on the pitch, and then it's that good opening partnership again. It's Craig Brathwaite and it's Ted Chandapal Chandapur, who made 51 in the first innings. Yes, he did. He makes 45 today off uh, 128 mm. balls, I'm going to say, off the top of my head. Yep. Bats all the way through the second session into, into the, uh, the third session after the tea break. He's playing the hook and pull shot quite a lot, not smashing boundaries, but just playing them for singles, picking up the odd two or three, yep. happy to take on that short ball, happy to leave a lot of balls outside the off stump. Like the patience, the temperament. I, I know, as you mentioned the other day, he's not a kid, he's 26. Yeah. But to come in and play like that in your first test match oh, is still oh, impressive. Oh, very, very impressive. And it was during that lunch break that we found out that Pat Cummins uh, will not be uh, walking onto the field because of the injury. Mm. Uh, I, I did see him walk walk into the walk to the middle and have a word with the umpires. I don't know sure. what that was about. But anyway, uh, he doesn't come out. So I think that also played into Australia's decision to give themselves five sessions yep. so that they don't reach a point where they panic and they have to bowl the fast bowler for an extra spell sure. when he's not ready for it. So I think they've given themselves that extra cushion, which I think works because it's it at that point it wasn't about the number of runs. Right. And you're right, and then Tej Narayan Chandrapal played as well as he did in the first innings. The short ball he handled so well because he doesn't always play the full blooded pull shot, like you said, he helps it along nicely. And he's got that whole Marcus Trescotic about yep. uh, about him, the way he leaves it, much like Craig Brathwell. I think mm -hmm. it has a lot to do with the pitches that they play domestic cricket on as well back home. Um, and yeah, it looked like they were actually, if anything, they looked more untroubled than they did in mm. that first innings where yeah. the ball did beat Bat a lot more. Of course, they didn't have to face Pat Cummins on this occasion. And at the tea break, you thought that, well, West Indies have done what they did in the first innings. Mm -hmm. They've really made Australia work hard for that first wicket. 116 for the first wicket, does that sound right? Something like that. And um, and there's there's the, the stroke of luck. It's against Green, isn't it, that Chandapal plays the, the pull shot that gets top edge yes. down. And Mitchell Stark's running around a fine leg and has a lot of distance to make and has to dive Just, across and he's on the move and yeah. bounces up and sort of hits himself in the head with yeah. it um, and, and can't take the catch. But then not long after that, Stark's bowling. Um, Next door. Nasty, sort of back of a length yeah. pace. Chandapal tries to cut too close to his body, chops it onto his stumps. 
He's gone. Uh, Shamar Brooks doesn't last all that long. Nathan Lyon gets him caught at slip. But then Blackwood comes in and does what, did, does what he did in the first innings. Like, you know, I mean, he plays a couple of rasping drives down yeah. the ground, but he mostly just hangs in there. And Brathwaite's scoring relatively freely by he this is, point. Actually. Because he's facing Nathan Lyon a lot, and he's sweeping a lot, and he likes to play the sweep shot. And so he's past 50 by the time that Chanderpaul gets out. And then about 10 minutes before Stumps, he gets his 100 with the sweep shot off yes. Lyon places it away, has the big celebration. He's never made a ton against Australia. I remember him, he was on track for a Bannerman at one point in 2015 <laughs> when, when West Indies were batting in the second innings. I think he made 92 and he made them very quickly. Uh, he just took on the bowling and everybody else made almost nothing and he was like 70% of the runs <laughs> at one point, but uh, the tail caught up a little bit. But so he had that 92 in Hobart, um, the, the score from memory. <laughs> Made the 100 today, had his celebration. Um, it's a nice moment, and he's still there. So, yeah, Blackwood gets out just after that, just before stumps, so they're three down rather than two down. I think if they'd gone in tomorrow with Blackwood coming back out yeah. uh, with the captain, then there might have been a... It might be a bit more optimism about trying to bat through the day, but if he's still there, it's possible. Look, Carl Mayer's on debut walked out when the score was 3 for 59. They uh, needed 395, 395 to win yeah. against uh, Bangladesh. Yep. And he got them home with 210 not out. So now they need 100 runs extra, but he's walked out to bat when they have 130 runs extra uh, on the board. So okay. they kind of need the same yeah. amount of runs. Uh, right. Or actually, 40 fewer runs from where he's walked out. Bigger different, boundaries here. Bigger boundaries, yeah. different conditions, different bowling attack. Pat Cummins uh, walked on, walked out onto the field uh, when Chandapal got out, 36.3 overs. So, uh -huh. uh, add 36.3 overs, so he should be ready to bowl, I think. Second new ball. Second new ball, just before the second new ball, if he wants to bowl, if he's needed. Yep. Uh, but yes, I mean, it's going to come down to Craig Brathwaite. But just about the 100, there was this funny moment about a celebration as well. Well, you can't talk about funny moments because it's not oh, the whole thing. Oh, there is, fame. the segment is there. Right? I'll wait for it. And it's right here. It is. It and is. And this so, <laughs> filming here and we have these bloody PA announcements that just keep going yeah. off behind us, telling us not to smoke and vape and telling us which exits to use. You can't even, use any of the exits. Even though we have used one. You, you can't get out of Perth Stadium. It's impossible to get out without, of it. It's, it's one of those stadiums where when you use the gate to get out, the siren goes off. So yeah. what do you want us to yeah, do? We're just trying to leave, man. Oh, just let us leave. Let us go home. Um, the final word Hall of Fame is when we we pick our most final word moments of the day. It's brought to you by Woodstock Cricket. If you want 20% off a absolutely sweet cricket bat that won the prize for the best bat and the second best bat in the world, woodstockcricket.co.uk. Put in the code TFW20, you get 20% off. Can't beat that. Hall of Fame, talk us through it. There's only one outright winner for the Hall of Fame moment yep. today. So Craig Brathwaite, first hundred against Australia, he is on top of the world. Uh -huh. So he crosses for a single after playing a sweep shot, one of many he played today. And then, on the way there, he drops his bat. Mm. But he's still in a celebratory mood. The throw has come back to Alex Carey. The ball is still alive, it's not dead. So he just like, as part of his celebration, yeah. runs back to the middle of the pitch to pick up his bat. And then well, suddenly- You need your bat. You made 100, you have to wave you have the to bat. Wave it's the, the law. Bat. You'll and, get arrested if you don't do it. And you have to look up as well. Yeah. And, um, at that point, he realizes, oh no, the ball is still in play. And he then starts running back without the bat <laughs> to the non strikers. And, and I don't think Alex Carey realized, or I don't think anyone wanted to ruin his moment. Uh -huh. So I don't think Alex Carey and Nathan Lyon were really looking for the run out. So you can see Alex Carey just tossing the ball to Nathan Lyon. But Craig Brathwaite yeah. is panicking. He thinks, oh no, imagine being run out yeah. for a hundred, like after uh, I've just celebrated it. And he did call it, he used that word, he called it a brain fade. But mm. thankfully for him, he survived and he's still alive. Yeah, he's still out there. And Nathan Lyon, I think, was recognised the humour in it. He yeah. was he was sort of slyly pretending that he yeah. was about to take the ball and run him <laughs> out, but wasn't actually doing it. Um, I liked the touch after that, where you have the big Brathwaite celebration, la di da di da on they go. Two balls later, <laughs> Jermaine Blackwood caught it short leg. And the Australians all go up. It's I like, know. you get a celebration, we, we get, get a celebration. celebration. Yeah, I mean, they had to work really hard for wickets today, and they had to do yeah. it without coming, so you've always got that thought in the back of your mind that you know you're one bowler down, you've got Green there to bowl, but you know, Travis Head bowled a little bit, uh, Labashane bowled a little bit. Pace. Yeah, you know, coming in and, and, and sending down the, the trashy military mediums, which he's taken some wickets mm. uh, for Glamorgan bowling those yes, in, in county cricket, but slightly different conditions here at Perth Stadium. So, I don't know, it was, it was a, an entertaining sort of day of test cricket, and we've got one of those ones tomorrow that could be over in 40 minutes with a collapse, or it might go four hours, might go into the fifth or sixth, Ooh. who knows, who knows how lucky we might be. You will find out 
when you uh, listen to or watch The Final Word daily, day five. But this has been day four. Barrett Sundarason, thanks for uh, coming in off the substitutes bench. Always ready to poach a goal in injury time. (laughs) And uh, I'm Jeff Lemon. We will see you on The Final Word next time.